190 students have to choose at least one elective and at most three electives from a list of three electives E1, E2 and E3. Brilliant. It's a classic Venn diagram question. The first sentence we can understand this. E1, E2, E3. I have to choose at least one. So we call this E1, E2, E3. At least one. So this is zero. Outside is zero. Total is 190. And at most two, so this is zero. It is found that the number of students choosing E1 is half the number choosing E2 and one third the number choosing E3. This is X, this is 2X, this is 3X. Moreover, the number of students choosing two electives is 50. So we have this as P, Q, R. We know P plus Q plus R is 50. So we know E1 union E2 union E3 is 190. Lovely. So E1 union E2 union E3. So E1 union E2 union E3 is E1 plus E2 plus E3 minus E1 intersection E2 which is P minus E2 intersection E3 minus Q minus E1 intersection E3 R sorry E1 intersection E3 is R E2 intersection E3 is Q plus E1 intersection E2 intersection E3 that is nothing and so this is 190 equals X plus 2X plus 3X minus of P plus Q plus R or this is 6x 190 equals 6x minus 50 or 6x is 240 x is 40 so 40 take e1 80 take e2 120 take e3 p plus q plus r is 50 everything intersection is 0 outside is 0 lovely Which of the following cannot be obtained from the given information? Number of students selecting exactly one elective. Overall is 190. These three add up to 50. These three should add up to 140. So this, this can be selected, can be found. So that's not our answer. Number of students choosing E1. This is 40. This can be found. E3, 120. This can be found. Number of students choosing both E1 and E2. E1 and E2. P. You know, P plus Q plus R is 50. This can't be found. This is our answer. Let's look at this. Number of students selecting either E1 or E2 or both, but not E3. E1 or E2 or both. So we're looking at this entire thing. But not E3. So leaving out this also. We are looking at this entire thing. So E1 union E2. But leaving out E3. E3 is 120. Total is 190. Remaining here would be 70. So we can find that remaining part. So, so e E1 union E2 but not E3, that component can be found. This also can be found. Number of students choosing both E1 and E2, that we cannot find. 